Hello, everybody, and happy Monday, and welcome to your daily lighting critique. Um, we have already been talking for like a half hour, so I think everyone's tired <laughs> of hearing my voice, so we're going to jump right into it. So uh, first up, we are, I want to just answer uh, two questions um, that came up. Number one was talking about uh, if there could be a technical workshop for, um, for like ACES workflow and color management stuff. Uh, we'll explore that. We have uh, a Diana, who's one of our amazing students, putting together an ACES workflow for Maya and Nuke, which should answer a lot of questions. Um, if we are finding more and more uh, need for that, that, that could be something that we would explore and definitely something that Jasmine and I would look for an external person to come in and teach that because we are not experts on color work spaces at all. And so we would, uh, we would definitely have that, um, have someone come in and, and do that. Uh, it was kind of going back to our conversation before we started recording about how to be good in this industry doesn't mean you have to be good at everything. You can just be good at the art side too. Um, uh, uh, Jordan also asked about um, uh, the difference between a lighting TD and a lighting artist. Um, it's a great question. So traditionally, like for years and years, my job as a lighting artist was clarify was was my my job title was lighting technical director. Um, the, the term technical director and artist were interchangeable for many years. When we first started our online school, we called it TDU, the Technical Directors University, um, because that was, that was just a common term for it. And, uh, but as we've gone through the years, uh, there has been more of a line being drawn between what an mm -hmm. artist does and what a TD does. And so uh, artists are the things that we teach, right? They, they do shot lighting, they do master lighting, they, they light. Their, their main job day in, day out is to make pretty pictures for a film and to work with the director and work with the art director and all that stuff. Lighting technical directors um, at a lot of companies, and again, every company has their own definition, so make sure you check the job description because some, some still do lighting TDs as artists. But lighting technical directors are, are more programming tool creation. So these are people who work on the pipeline side and they create tools for lighting artists. So like, or they'll, they'll do workflows or they'll do uh, implementations of nuke macros or things like that. Um, and so it's much more of a, um, a tool-based uh, job than it is a shot-based job. Um, and that's, that's kind of the main distinction between the two. So, uh, right. Okay, so we've got Aaron, Andre, Annabelle, Ashley, Man, you get, there's so many, I don't, I don't know why there are so many A names in this program. It blows me away. Danny, Diana, Forrest, and Kat. Um, so we will start, we'll, we've got Aaron, we've got both your still and your animated one. So we'll start, we'll start there. Um, Aaron's got double A's in his name, so he wins. Um, okay, so overall, and uh, you know what? I've been looking at this one for a while. I think, I think this looks pretty good. I'm, I think I think you're in a really, really good spot. The only thing is there seems to be a little bit of like a magenta purple outline around the bottom of him here, around his legs. Um, and that would be about it. But I think overall, I think this is looking really well. But I didn't want to open this one up to the floor to see what you all are thinking about it. If there's any other notes, anything that I'm missing, anything that you think could improve uh, Aaron's image here. Uh, I the only thing that I'm questioning is the table that they're sitting on. It feels like just kind of 2D, mm. um, but I don't know what's happening there. I think, but at the same time, I think it kind of works with the image. But that's just something that I'm looking at. Yeah, I yeah. Think that was that was the same thing I was thinking. That it's mm -hmm. like he's the the the. Sushi is sitting at the edge of the table, right? So maybe maybe a little bit more shadow on the table beneath uh, beneath it would ground it more and make it less 2D, less like flat. Because it's like when I saw it the first time, I didn't understand if it was standing on a table or sitting at the edge of the table. That's an excellent. Yeah. I feel like it's missing some texture on it. Like it's a bit flat. Maybe that's why we. Have a build that's yeah, like really yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think in my original version, the the pose before this, like I changed the table to like a black plastic because I felt like the wood was 
uh, it didn't really go with uh, Laser Lights Clubhouse kind of <laughs> stuff. So I changed it to kind of this like just this deep black plastic, right? And so what you get is you get when it starts reflecting these blues and these greens, you start and pinks, you start getting more like purple. Um, so I mean, maybe just like some, like an extra spec hit or something. I'm not quite exactly sure, but or yeah, I guess I see your point. You more specular on it would help it uh, look less flat. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, no, that's totally, it's totally right. Yeah, because the, there is a variation across here, which is nice. It's subtle, but like the edges are a little darker and it's like a little more spotted in the middle. But just, yeah, a little brighter and a little more shadow uh, connection is a really, really good point, guys. I think the 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 rice on the right and the plant seem as if they're on the same line. So maybe if you add a little Z depth or something to the, to the plant on the right, mm -hmm. it might help it stand, make that difference between them yeah just pushing that maybe even just like pushing that back a little more in space yeah a just pushing it back. <clears throat> yeah yeah because these these do a good job back here of like stepping back really nicely yeah good that's great aaron do you have any questions Let's go ahead and... uh no i don't think so okay. um no I, it, the, the comp is getting a little overwhelming i'm i'm a little concerned about the they're purple around the legs. Like I've seen it for a while. It's just the the leg is desaturated, right? So like the leg and the rice, they draw this purple. Um, they absorb like the purple oh, light. I see. And so it's like I'm getting that that blur in the legs. I'm wondering if can you erode a desaturate? I guess. I mean, there's got to be it's, something. It's, like, it gets ugly because it's like it's it's a yeah, um, like that's uh, yeah. Cause it like, it's, it's a gnarly it. edge. It just makes a gnarly edge. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll get in there and I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. And light lightening up the area behind it will, will help that significantly. Sure. All right. Let's go ahead and top over into your animated shot. Um, so this is the, the newer version. Let's take a look at the updated the previous. So one of the things is like starting out in the dark, like he's, he's more in darkness and his eyes feel like they could be grounded a little bit more. Like they're a little bit too bright in there. Um, it's okay when he like steps up in here a little bit more, but like when he's, when we're seeing it at the beginning, it would be nice if for the eyes to be a little, it's okay for the eyes to go a little bit darker in there. Um, I'm wondering if the the key light, the sunlight coming through that's hitting the ground could could go brighter in both areas, both here and back over there, because the inside is so dingy dark, like that bright outside light would really punch through that a little bit strong more strongly. Like you can kind of it feels. I mean, it is kind of like a dingy carpet, and you do feel it kind of bright here. Now why can't I draw um, on the on the potted plant? But like I, I would maybe consider pushing it a little more strongly on the ground, because just I, I want to see more of like a drastic difference when she pops this open. I really just like I really want to feel that light um, like bouncing around in that space back there. So maybe just pushing those a little bit stronger. The flicker on the TV looks good, and a couple of these poses, like we like lose some of the detail on his face. Um, Draw with this. There we go. Uh, like we just kind of like it all just kind of flattens out in the fill area a little bit, and it'd be nice to get like a little bit of the the like specularity or something in there to kind of get his jaw jawline to read a little bit stronger. And for the girl, it depends on what's happening off camera. She looks like she's walking directly into a light source as she moves over, like it's low to the ground. Um, as opposed to like a table lamp or something, it feels like it's at, the, at her same height off the ground. Because as okay, she, I, do, I think there's a lamp back there that I'm playing some kind of point light, but I'll I'll check out and see. Yeah. I mean, is it just that she gets too bright by the end that I can just tone down? It's not that it's 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 not that she gets too bright. It's that it's totally localized to her, just her face, and like this okay. very tight window right around here. Like I would be fine with that level of brightness if it was a little bit more like a rim 
or uh, if, if it covered her because it's like maybe she is walking toward like and as long as it carries over to the next shot and as long as it makes sense with the scene and the story that you're telling it's I, I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's inherently problematic I think it's um, I think it's it's just it just doesn't feel like a light source that would happen inside a home like that it just feels like she's walking into a car's headlight sure yep yeah. All right, I'm gonna open it up. What do you guys? Anybody got anything? Yeah, when she when he. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, just the the on his shoulder and his back. Just if he's going, it's kind of a weird light. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if he's stepping into the window or if that's like a spotlight. Like, yeah. An additional light. You can see the line on the back wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. this and, one. I, and the highlight like travels. Yeah. Down his arm. Yeah, totally. It's just kind of. I mean, that's something that would allow brighter in previous versions. Should we just should I just kill it? Is just it kill just it. Distracting at that point. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Because on the wall, there's like uh, the line. Yeah, I see that one on the couch. Mm -hmm. Because of the shadow. Yeah. Like I think it would be better to have a room after he stands up. But. Yeah, like, it's, I mean, it's fine if he gets out here and it, like, hits him over here and it's, like, a little bit softer mm -hmm. and not quite, like, a... Because it just feels very tight and very bright. Mm -hmm. Like, it feels like it's, it's like, from a small light source. Yeah, if, it, if, it, if, you, if you got out into this realm and you started to get, like, a little bit, like, almost like a kick, like a softer thing around him, it would mm -hmm. work out a little better. Yeah. Cool. I really, I really like the texturing on the table. Yeah. Uh, I think like the reflection is really nice, um, and it really feels that feels nice and set in the world. Um, I think in res like probably this is like adding on to what everyone else is saying, but like because the texture of the wall is very simple, it'd be cool to see more shaping being done, um, mm -hmm. just to give that room some more life. Um, I don't know exactly the solution. Maybe there's like a an incandescent in the kitchen, you know, shining in to get some more shaping, or just like just playing around with how the light's breaking across the couch and, and wall. Um, yeah. And I should say for anybody who's lighting this this scene, this is a very tricky scene to light. Like when we set it up, uh, and I, I lit it myself, I was like, oh, this is this is going to be a good challenge. So, because uh, there, there are like weird pockets to this room, and and the the shape of their walls can be kind of strange and. Like having the guy like away in this kind of isolated area away from the windows is tricky. Um, yeah, so so you're doing a really good job. Like there's a, like Forrest was saying, like the table's looking really good and grounding in really nicely. Um, there is good shaping on him overall. Like he's he's as he's moving forward, like there is like j like the key light shaping that's on him. It makes sense, even though it's like probably cheated way to the side. It it feels like it could be the television light, and it, it's lighting him up pretty well. So that's. Like you've got a lot of good good qualities going on in here. So. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, right. One, uh, one thing. Right. One thing that I just noticed on the girl um, after her like second or third step, she loses the backlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point too. Yeah, that, that that's enough. Yeah. Look weird, because the the door is still open, so. Yeah, that's true. Like she, she, she loses it a little, a little quickly. Yeah, because she's still. It's like she's still in the the. I'm pointing at my screen like a dingus. She's still in the 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 light there, but it starts to get dark back behind her. Interesting. That's a very good point, Andre. Thank you. All right, we've got this open, so I'm gonna hop over to Annabelle's, and then we'll go back to Andre on the still side. Um, let's go pull this up here, make this a little bigger. All right, so this is fun. This it's so um, a few things that I was uh, thinking out of the gate. Number one is I do think <clears throat> we can like I don't want to. I want the the dark points in the background here to be lighter. Um, 
because like an office interior lighting, like we're exposed for this interior space outside would go a little bit brighter. <clears throat> and I just don't like having that, um, the dark windows back there kind of makes it feel closer than it, than it should be. So I would just lift that up. Like, I think, I think that maybe a little brighter than this in the key, but definitely like, I, I know that it's shadowed out there, but like, I do want that to go a little bit brighter. Um, to make it like a little bit more blown out, I guess. Yeah. Like, because of the light outside. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just step the exposure up a little bit more out there. Um, this diploma seems to be penetrating the wall there. Just watch out for that. Because it's just like there's a border. <laughs> of, yeah. No. It's, it's one of those things like you're not looking there at all. You're looking over here. Yeah. Um. So, with the character himself, his, like, and it could be just him, but his, like. The warmth uh, between the guy on the screen right side and him is very different. Like he's he's kind of cool, steely blue almost. Um, and I would like to see maybe a little bit more warmth in his skin tones. Yeah. And more, a little bit more warmth. Yeah, I was trying to get more saturation in the scene as well, but I don't know why. Each time like I bring it into After Effects after, it's just like mm -hmm. it seems less saturated. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it might be just a, a way of its of it being processed. But yeah, it is it like. But the guy on the right looks looks really good. Um, like I think yeah. that that feels like a good saturation level where he, um, yeah, he feels a little bit less. Like again, and like there's there's just like some more saturated things like the pink slip, the books, the the monitor here. Um, so that's one. Um, the other thing I was thinking about too. And this is tricky, and, and I, I'm, I'll actually ask you guys this one. So, because what my first thought was like, at, he's he's pretty d dynamic in this scene. He's bouncing around, he's moving through different spaces. Um, I am questioning whether or not there would be more, um, like he would move through more patches of light and darkness, or if you guys think, or if it, because this is an office space with a bunch of overhead banks of fluorescent light, does that feel natural to you that he doesn't? Like, what do you guys think? Yeah, offices don't tend to necessarily have a lot of yeah. like dark just because it's a, it's you know it's a fluorescent setup. Yeah, but people don't stay in the office either, so I think <laughs> more dramatic lighting, I I think would be fun. Yeah, I mean, the show in the office is not necessarily realistic, right? So like you could almost just I mean that show is free almost everywhere, so you could probably see what they're doing yeah um for some of their walking and talking shots if there are any in that show that's a great that's um, a great great point yeah, yeah that's true that's a good reference yeah yeah um i would say that we having shot photos in an office before the light varies a lot from place to place even though you know theoretically it's pretty much the same but like the shadows on the face would i think would be interesting to to change a little bit because right now he looks like he's been i mean unless there's another uh, uh window on the behind behind the camera but it looks like he's being uh, uh, uh lit from a really large source where the the, the, the lights on the on the ceiling are a lot more like small spotlights that would make the, the shadows on his face uh, uh, move from, from one place to the other. Yeah, and, and even if there was a window behind us, like he would get brighter as he steps closer to it too, right? There'd be that variation in it as well. Yeah, that's true too. With the effect you want to do in the beginning with like the, or at the end with the uplighting, that already kind of establishes that at least one area has, has a different lighting setup, so... You could kind of play around with some variation for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, so, so basically, basically, like, maybe when he goes to the wall right there, maybe it should be a little bit darker, like, more in shadow. Mm -hmm. And, like, like, when he walks out, then, like, more in the, in the light since the, the light is directly shining on him right there. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we'll already have, like, the lamp that's kind of, like, shining up on his face. But do you guys think I should make it that uh, light a little bit stronger? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um... Especially like I think I don't think a lamp light would be on on a desk in the middle of the day when there's so many lights around it. It depends. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. 
I think, I think it would be on, yeah. but I don't think it would make that much difference on him once it's like tilted down, you know. Yeah. It's interesting now. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think that's up to you where it's like do you want it to be more dramatic and a little bit maybe unbelievable because I really like the last scene where it's like it wouldn't look like that, but I really like it. So mm -hmm. it's up to you which which you want to do. That's yeah, that's the thing. I want it to be more dramatic at the end. So I know it's like not in comparison mm -hmm. or in comparison to the rest of it or but, but I, feel I feel like if I made it to the scene, yeah, yeah, that I agree with. And I do think it's it's like a fun take to like have him mm -hmm. step into like this evil underlighting here at the end. That would be yeah. cool. <laughs> like it's just a matter of, of making it because it's not it's not obvious enough to the audience yet that 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 you're you're playing that that way. It just feels like he's just getting lit in a slightly different way. Yeah. yeah, I feel yeah, I should like make it brighter and like I made it darker behind them, but I think I didn't do it enough mm -hmm. to make like a contrast. So maybe I should make it darker behind him and like the the lamp shining up on him, so it makes like a bigger contrast and it looks more uh, dramatic. Yeah, you could point the lamp up. If you wanted to do something like that, you could actually make it look like it's nighttime outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and then you could play a bit more with pools of light because it would we would be thinking that it's a office that's lit up at night, so you wouldn't have as much ambient light coming in. Mm -hmm. And then behind him would be darker, uh, and then like the her this area where he's right now, where he's talking to her, you could actually make it a bit more in shadow because there'd be less ambient light coming in. True, that could be an idea Especially too. Huh? If you're playing with the, you know, maybe. Maybe there's an off, like a, um, an off-screen window. So if you're project, if you set it up so it's nighttime on the other side, then you could, you know, then you could give the idea. Then actually there'd be a reason for that dust light to be on, and then you could actually play with maybe some um, exterior lighting, like different colors or something, coming in from an exterior window in the city at night. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, that's true. That, that could be cool too. too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've given uh, Annabelle a lot. Oh, go ahead. So. <laughs> I think we've got Annabelle a lot to work with because I think it is like, and again, when, when you get this level of, of feedback, it's because you're onto something, you know? So, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what you got next. And it's, a, it's overall, it's a pretty clean render. I mean, like, I know that there's some noise. Um, I think, I think one of the things that's really cool is, um, the tint that you have on this glass is like, it kind of doubles up where there's double glass and like, it's kind of like, it just, it feels, it feels like very, it's a subtle detail, but I think it's really cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, I do want to move on because I want to keep things moving along a little bit. But um, okay, Andre. So uh, this is the update. This is the uh, let's see. Oh wait. Oh yeah, update previous version. So I like having the buildings and like a little bit more context across the street. I think that really works out well. I'm. I just let me let me let me just try something here real quick. So the one thing that I, f I feel when I look at this, like, especially when I just switch over, it's it just, there feels like there's a lot of yellow in it. And I just, and this is not going to be perfect, but like, I do, I, I want there to be a little bit, like the characters to be a little bit more white balanced um, in, the, in their lighting. Uh, and so not quite as, as uh, sunshiny yellow, as, as like that kind of lemon yellow. So I, I do want to see that. Um, I'm starting to feel, yeah, there's more light coming in from the front here. Um, we do, we're still, it's still tough because I still, it still feels like, because if the light's coming in across this way, like it still feels like there'd be more shadow. Like if this is that long, it, it still feels like the shadows in this building would creep a little bit more into the street here. Um, and then that would create some more darkness back then. Or maybe that's happening. No, no, no. Yeah, so like the sidewalk would be dark, this, the front of this building would be dark. There would be like these uh, highlights on these plants here, but the area back behind it would be a little bit darker and then we could um, just have the characters being lit through there. And then I'm not quite sure what's happening uh, where it's, there's like a sliver of light on her back here. Um, and it almost looks mm -hmm. like there's a light shining in this way. So I, I would really, for now, um, just because there's so much light coming in from the outside, 
really play up um, that the external light is is lighting the majority of the scene. And then there's something like, and then these shadows in here feel very, uh, like it feels like the blue light in there is really being pushed in there uh, artificially. Like it might be being done in the comp or something. Um, it, feel, mm -hmm. it, feels, it feels much more that there's like either a shadow limit being adjusted or it's being comped in versus like it's a combination of a skylight and a sunlight where just the sun isn't, uh, is being occluded there, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, let's open it up. What do you guys think? I'm noticing uh, now that you mentioned like the light on uh, on the character, I'm noticing that there's spe there's spec hits on the lamps above. Oh yeah. Um, that that feel like more like placed lights um, to light them than they do like ambient practical lights in the scene. Yeah. yeah. I know it's also like in the back, there's like a very dark area where the coffee sign is. I don't know, I find that a bit distracting. This, this, I'm not quite like sure what it is, yeah. That, like where that is? Yeah. yeah. Is that, it just seems very dark. I don't know if it's like a top of the building or... Yeah, I think it's the top of the building. But I, but I agree. I agree. Maybe just try to lighten it a little bit up. I feel like it would be less just distracting if it was more in the same color range as the rest of the building. Yeah. I do like the shaping that you're getting on these um, fern plants is, is pretty cool. Like the way that there's like these spec hits happening here and kind of like catching their like edges a little bit. Uh, it's really nice. And I think I think that'll really stand out more. Like you can kind of see it over here because like that building back there is in shadow, but this this one isn't. And so we're like, it's competing too much with the, the value of the plants a little bit. And so I think, I think that, yeah, darkening that, like that other side of the street. Cause again, with the, if the sun would be behind it, like that would be, that would be darker back there. Yeah, I think, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I've, I've, I say too much. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the format on the table, you have that, like, matchbox-looking thing, and you have the shadow. I think it's that shadow that hits the wall. I just, I, just, I, I don't know where to place that, the shadow. And also, because the a light direction coming from outside, from the left side of the screen, that's... That shadow, that shadow, it's, it's actually from the, uh, the table whatever that is that they're leaning on oh i see it's 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 funny because it, it looks like, it looks like it's this right like it looks yeah, like it's a continuation of that that's interesting i can just move the uh, menu a little bit mm -hmm. to the side so that it disconnects that because it's like the well aligned that's why i think we think it's part of the, the menu yeah it's it's a yeah it's a 2d 3d space problem <laughs> uh, are you, are you finished? Shadow pass? Sorry, Sorry, I'm talking over somebody. Oh, no, no, no worries. Go ahead. Um, just, are, are you running a shadow, shadow pass? Because like, it was almost like that one, that that V one, one at the bottom right. right. It's like if you can soften it somehow, um, just, just so that it's not. not I don't know. It, it, it just it, it's, it's a little now, now that like someone brought it up and like mentioned it. Now it's like all I can look at. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. Now I just want to stare at him. I'm just going to stop it. You know. Uh, the last thing I was noticing is that his right arm, I can't remember if this was mentioned, but it looks very glowy and that there's like a lot of surface mm. in his hand. Like, um, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just like the, the, the stream quality, but it looks like it's really glowing. No, I think I think you're right. Also, like the specular highlight in the shoes and the as they like down here in the shadows, um, it just there's a little bit like it, it looks like they wouldn't get that get hit by the key light because there's this, um, you know, this thing blocking it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, my, my only thing I want to bring up is on the wall, wall bottom right. right um, I, think I think you're getting, getting some light leaking by, by the window. window. Oh, here? Yeah, I might be getting like, in that grease. Oh, yeah. interesting. I was thinking that it was on the left side, too, but I don't know if that's uh, trim from the wall. 
um, on the left side foreground, mm -hmm. there's a little patch of light. I don't know if that's the turn picking up the sun, but I think you're getting some light leaning in the wall, just, just FYI. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it looks like the position of the shadow, and this is just like a mental thing, um, the position of the shadow looks to be like, so it's, it can frame these signs on the wall, but like, we really don't, just because words really uh, draw the eye, we don't necessarily need to see the, the signs. They're not, they're not really telling us that much about the story. So it's okay if this uh, like creeps over and cuts into them a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, but the, 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 you're definitely making strong progress over your previous iterations. This is coming along nicely. Ooh. All right, we are still in the A's on to Ashley. Um, okay, so Ashley, you've got some really cool reference here. Um, again, lots of the magenta side, like magenta and blue combination. We've got some, uh, like you really work in the, the wet surfaces here. I think there's, I don't know if it's an aspect ratio thing or something, but like it feels a little bit squished vertically. I think somebody mentioned this, I think Kat, maybe you mentioned this. Uh, she just feels a little bit like, it just feels like, um, yeah, I've mentioned that her feet kind of look stretched out. out. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and then that, that there was, was a lot, lot it, it, it felt, felt like there was a lot of water that, that would like, at that, that much water, she'd kind of be sloshing over her shoes. Unless you want to have a walking on water, water in which case, case that's cool. cool. But, <laughs> so, but, yeah. yeah. So I, I did just like stretch it uh, vertically a little bit and it just, it, that feels maybe a little bit too much, but, um, but just something to look out for. It may just be something with the processing of it that, that's squishing her down a little bit. Um, yeah. Her, her standing in the puddle, just, just having her feel a little bit more wet in the, the clothing and everything and in the shoes. Um, unless she is a goddess, in which case, go for it. She's floating. But I do, like, I wanted to point out the um, the color and the specularity on the skin look really great. Like, they're really, really pretty. I think the subsurface is too high because we're seeing a lot of it coming through the nose and the ears and stuff. Um, it makes her feel a little bit squishy, like a little, like a little bit gummy berry. Um, and like, you can especially see it on like her hand kind of creeping through here. Her fingers are very glowy, but like you're getting it in the right spots. Like her nose would definitely have it. Just not quite to that volume and not quite to that level. Um, let's see, let's see what the reference again. So I'm wondering, can, can it, you go, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, I was just saying, can, can you go back, go back to the reference, reference for a quick, quick second? second? Yeah. So. Okay, okay, so, so on, on the, the, the top left photo, the one where you're um, with, with all the purple and magenta letters, letters mm -hmm. that has the purple rim coming through because that's a transparent, but here, if you, if you go, go back, back to her render, render it's, it's coming, coming down, down specifically on each letter on the wall, and, and that's not a transparent brick wall, wall, so I don't think that that, that would be happening. happening. Excuse me, I'm saying? Like, like that, that has, has a rim because that's... The, the light's hitting the wall directly, but in this one... I think it's okay because, I mean, the wall's only going up to there. And like we've got these big things up above it, I, I'm, I'm, I that yeah I think it's okay because like, like we're not seeing it, yeah I mean like it would it could cut her off and like not see it so much on her feet, I, I could I could get into that but I think um, but I think having it up here it, that feels okay to me. But yeah but like and then really like really look at this uh, reference for the the sign itself I think is a really good call too. Like it's not, there's not as quite as much of a distinction on these, on the letters inside of here. Um, it's a little bit more blur on the edge there. Uh, and then in terms of, let's see. I think you could probably get more saturation and more color color bleed onto the into the water down here because it feels a little muted and a little desaturated from the the original color and it, it like if you look at the reference it really does almost match in in hue and saturation um the same as the original so i think you can push that a little bit stronger and the only other thing i was going to say was i think you could even go a little bit darker in these fills overall like looking at her like she gets it's a little bit more darkness in here and, and even down through her torso as well. And I'm wondering if maybe you could you could do that too. It just just um, just to create a little more contrast on her. And also and then for the for the rain droplets themselves, I would give a like 
some feeling of them being lit by the magenta light too because they feel pretty neutral and getting them to kind of uh, twinkly be with the pink light would be good too. Do you have any questions? Is there anything that you you were you wanted us to look at specifically? I think so. so. I, mean, I mean, I'm just taking, taking it all in. in so. Good. Because <laughs> no, sometimes it's like, you know, there'll be a thing that you're struggling with or the thing that, yeah. So I just want to make sure that we answer those questions too. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure what made that, made that look stretched, stretched like, like that. So, so I'll have to, to, to you know, dig into that. that some, for me, sometimes uh, uh, if I like um, download a student's image, sometimes before, this happened, this used to happen a lot more than, I, this hadn't happened in a long time. Where I like download an image from Discord and then I upload it to my Photoshop. There's something about that transfer will like actually squish it. It's like something about the pixel aspect ratio, like something about like the way it's being rendered. Okay. But oh, um, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But I like I like the 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 way that you're using this as a nice framing element. Like this level of darkness with a little bit of rim on it looks really really good. Um, like I, we don't even have to know what this is. This is probably just, it's probably mm -hmm. just another version of her, but just <laughs> desaturated. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this looks really good. Any other notes before we move on? All right. By the way, Kat, I meant to ask you, do you have any time limitations? I should have asked you that way long ago. Uh, are no, you... I'm, I'm off today. Okay, so good. I'm home. Okay, great. Okay, great. No worries. Okay, good deal. <laughs> um, all right, Danny, definitely, definitely making really, really good progress on this. Like now this is like really starting, I, I really starting to feel the candlelight in this scene a little bit more strongly. Um, there are just some like, and this is an interesting one, the way that the fireplace is reflected way out here. Like, I'm not sure if that's right or not. <laughs> like I'd have to, like, I don't, it feels, it just feels odd that it like, it, it's all the way down here, but I guess maybe that would be the case. Yeah, I, I, I don't think, think it makes sense. sense. Okay. I just, I just, I just noticed it after I posted it. it. I, I, I think, think it's off. off. Yeah. Maybe just pulling the the the, the spec uh, AOV out of there and just, and just pulling it back a little bit would be good. Um, but like looking at some of the, like I'm starting to really feel like these pocketed areas of light um, kind of sh like every everything on that back wall. As we get into the foreground, it starts to get a little bit. Um, we start to lose it a little bit, but like, I think, I think it's just a matter of continuously, um, of continuing to work it. Like it, it, there's something about like over here starts to feel a little bit overly lit. And I guess it's cause there's light coming in through the window. We've got the pocket. It might just be a matter of turning off candles over here and just allowing just the natural light to shine through. Um, and then, and then, oh, the other thing that's standing out is the, uh, the swords themselves should feel a little bit warmer. They feel a little neutral. And like they're not reacting to the candle lights and the reflections of their space. It might it might just be because of the angle that we're looking at, they're actually picking up more reflections from the outside. But it it I would just make them a little bit a little a warmer. Pick up a little more. What do you guys think? Cool, cool. Let's open it. The lights on the back wall looks really good. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm sorry, could you say could you say that again? You kinda of broke up for a second. Yeah, yeah I was saying, saying about the long red, red chair. chair. Um I feel oh, like yeah. it seems a little bit dark. I don't know if it's just, just on my screen, screen but, but uh yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe just like a little bit like a like get a little rim from the fireplace here. Um and then I'm trying to think. There's something and then I'm looking at the fire itself too. I'm wondering if there's more that we can do to that. It, it might just be like that we're seeing to, I need to look at more reference to this. Like there might just be more glow around the edge, but like just seeing like the perfect edge of it might be a little much. And then, yeah, I'm trying to figure yeah, out. I feel like fire can feel sharp. I feel like maybe a little bit more glowy around the edges. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like more reference to this. My same trick. Just to kind of like, just this is just uh, adding a little blurry goodness. It's fine. Something. Yeah, I feel something, something a little bit like that, that would look better. better. It would, it would soften, soften it, it up a little bit. bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, because that softens that contrast around the edges. That might be like too high, but just as an example. Um, also be careful with the chandelier pair. It looks like there's some light creeping on the bottom of this, which maybe, yeah. From, 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 from this. Oh, maybe, maybe it's from it, that. I could see that. Light. Yeah. And actually what I just did on the fireplace, like I think would actually look really good <laughs> overall. <laughs> just like, cause I think, I think, I think it would kind of do that a little more across the board on all of it. Um, tone it down, but like just kind of like having this like haziness in the room, I think would be, cause it, it starts to kind of, uh, and it just basically just adds moisture to the air. Yeah, uh, I like it better with the diffuse too. too. Yeah, diffusion, man, it gets me every time, every <laughs> single time. So uh, is that is that something I would do in nuke, nuke yeah. or is that, is that an atmospheric fall or something? No, doing a nuke. Uh, yeah, that's that that that's more of. Uh, yeah, that's more of like a lens effect that happens, and anytime it's like a, a camera lens effect, I try to do that in nuke. Like vignetting, cool. same thing. So yeah. Do you have any questions before we move on? You feeling good? Um, what, what do you think of the the, the, the windows, windows and, like moonlight? moonlight? Do you, do you think, think the cooler, cooler tone works? works? I'm wondering if it it feels. Uh, it's a good question. Uh, it feels neutral uh, in tone. I think. I think if you're gonna do it. It feels both neutral in tone and in value, and I'll, I'll let you guys disagree with me if you if you uh, if you want. I think you could go more saturated with it, and either and then perhaps a little bit more toned down in value. Um, and and maybe just isolate it a little bit more to this edge, as opposed to coming all the way across here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I, I agree. I think. Um, the, the reference, reference has more, it's like, like there's actually like a volumetric like kind of light coming in. in. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I, I would suggest like bringing that in to, to, to give it, that, that, to, to match that reference, that's, that's still the goal. And then, and then it feels, feels like it's probably bouncing too much on this back wall. wall. Yeah. The, the one that the, the window's, window's on. on. So, so if, if it was more isolated to the the shelf and or to the desk, desk and, and a little bit of the area surrounding that might mm -hmm. make, make it feel yeah more part of it yeah that's a good uh, I, think, I think i think it, it also, also depends, depends on if you want, want to portray you know, you know the moon, moon shining through or the street, street lamp shining, shining through, through. Mm -hmm. i think that a street mm -hmm. lamp would be a much more, more yellow, yellow light, light you know, you know. Uh, uh, the moon would be like a bluish or at least neutral, like it is. Um, so, so it depends, depends I guess. Cool, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. But yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely making good progress. All right, Kat, and then Vanessa. I think we lost Vanessa at some point. I'm sorry if we. Um, uh, the, the poll looks a lot better. <clears throat> like I think the, I think the cylindrical pole makes it helps out a lot. Um, I'm trying to, one thing I'm thinking is there's like let me take a look. Let me try this real quick. I'm wondering if we can't brighten her overall. Like I want to I want to brighten her her key overall and take down that like make this spotlight a little bit less dramatic. Um, I can't really do that in Photoshop, but I can make her brighter overall. Like, what do you what do you think of that? Does that I, I think I had her that bright, bright at one, one point. Yeah, I don't remember why. Don't down. down. I think she, she was, was that bright at one point, point like like four, four iterations, iterations ago. ago. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think I so I think this level of overall brightness with this just right around her eye taken down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Said, sorry uh, if I pushed. I said, no worries. no worries. I took, I took the, the, the brightness, brightness on the eye down. down. Is, is it better, better now the way you want it? Um, I think. I think. Well, yeah. 
I think it's still a little bit bright. Like here. I think it's like a touch. It's like 10% too bright. Okay, okay. But but I think I think like a little bit less there, a little bit more up overall. Um and then there's something then the only other thing uh and and there's something like and it might just be the the quality of the texture at this at this scale. There's something 2D about these poles now. Right? Like it just it just feels like low resolution something. Um I don't think how we could fix that. Maybe making them darker. I don't know. What do you guys think? You can, you can even put, put the same cylinder, cylinder and you just put it, put it right in front of it. <laughs> Perfect. That, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, done. Really done and done. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Just do that. Well, is the texture on that pole okay? I mean, it's basically, it's basically just a noise texture, texture right through on there and messed with it. But it's interesting. You know, it's not very concrete. No, no, it's interesting. I what, what I was thinking, I mean, because it doesn't need to be concrete. It feels like uh, it's somebody who painted the, a pole using vertical paint swipes. Okay. And it's got like, it's okay. it's multicolored in there too, which is really interesting. It's because I have, I have three, uh, two, two different colored lights. lights so, so it's getting, getting some, some of the, the uh, yeah. yellow light in there and then it's Cooler light, and then it's getting the uh, brighter light again. Yeah, I like um, it. If I cover, if, if I put, put that same pole over, over the other two, two should, should I make the middle, the middle one metallic, metallic so, so it reflects like this one does, so it looks like window? window? Because, because the reflection is kind of what sells the scene in a, in a way. I don't think so. I think the reflection in the window itself is enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. and then we have Vanessa. I think this one's. I think this is looking. I think this is looking really good. Um, I will let me let me open it. And I still think that these earrings could probably go a little brighter. Um, but like the richness, the detail, and the skin looks really good. Um, her eyes look really beautiful. Yeah. What do you guys think? Actually, Annabelle, I'm having difficulty hearing you. Would you mind saying that again? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. My, my mic on my laptop was really bad. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, saying, uh, I don't know if there was a the point to not make her, um, her, her vest, vest look, but, but if, if she, ever she ever wants to add that, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, we, we, were, we were going back and forth on that because like, she had it kind of right on the border. And so it was like, either make it more cloth-like or make it glowy. And she, I think she went more, more cloth-like. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, in that, in that case, it's perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm blanking on which way the zoom flattens or um, warps, warps the face, but I'm wondering if, if we can like make the face a little bit less, less, mm. less warped by just adjusting the it's a, it's, focal length. Yeah, it's, it's, a tele, it's making it more telephoto and then pulling the yeah. camera back a little bit. Yeah, because gen generally speaking, um, and is Andre still here? Because I know he does photography too. But like, I, I have a lens that I use for just for portraits, and it's like an eighty-five millimeter ish. Yeah. Um, and that kind of that kind of it does well. It does a few things. One, it allows you to be further away from the character, which makes them more comfortable, mm -hmm. and doesn't feel like you're right up in their business. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, it'll it'll help it'll help um, uh, help. Yeah, it would just be. It would be interesting to do um, a comparison though, and just like keep this, and then render that, and just see how see if she looks different. Yeah, yeah. Because I'd, I'd love to see more, more of her hair, hair uh, uh, like on the top of mm. her head. Yeah, yeah. This, this, yeah. The position of the camera is interesting, right? Like it's very uh, heroic, and it's like she feels like a larger than life statue. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, do, do you guys any anything else? I think. But yeah, like I see, I see uh, on her left eye, eye there's there's a small, small pocket of pinkish, pinkish light, light. I think. I think. Like up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just exactly that. And yeah, it, 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 it makes it look cute, cute but just wondering, wondering how to work with it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna try something here real quick, just just because like I'm wondering if the eye whites could go a little brighter. Um, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, this is gonna look crappy until I do this.
Um, I think, yeah, I think brightening the eye whites would be good. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. That, would that would look nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. But yeah, I think she's pretty. I think she looks great. I think it looks really nice. Sorry, sorry to make you wait until the end. It's been like an hour now. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, it looks great. Just a couple little things. Um, all right, great. Well, great critique today, everybody. That was fun. I, I, I like literally looked down. And it's like, you know, an hour and 15 minutes after we started hanging out. So been lovely lovely and it's not just because my kids are the only people i talked to this weekend it's because i genuinely <laughs> like them. all right i'm gonna hop off but you guys have a wonderful day and i will uh i will be sending out um diana's uh, anyone who's interested in learning more about the aces workflow for maya and nuke will send out diana's um pdf that she's put together and then we'll figure out a time later this week maybe thursday ish and we'll uh we'll circle back and, and have a little okay. sit down session yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't sign up until I post it because I don't. I'm not writing these down. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you all very soon. <clears throat> Happy lighting, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.